Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on managing SSL certificates with Microsoft IIS 7. My name is Eddie and I will be doing this short demo for Information Security and Compliance course at Florida International University. Before we begin, let me read out this disclaimer to you guys. This video is for educational purposes only. By viewing this post, you agree that I am not liable on whatever damage it might cause you. That out of the way. So we'll be talking about managing SSL certificates and we'll cover some topics such as generating a CSR, Certificate Signing Request, importing the Intermediate Certificate, importing the Service Certificate, backing up and exporting the Certificate, and reissuing the Certificate. Before we begin, let's go ahead and cover some topics really quick on SSL certificates and threats. I've pretty much given the definition of SSL certificates, which are small data files that digitally bind a cryptographic key to an organization's details. When installed on a web server, it activates the padlock and the HTTPS protocol over port 443 and allows secure connection from a web server to a web browser. Typically, uh, they secure credit card transactions, data transfers and logins, and now more recently when securing browsing of social media sites. They bind together domain name, server name or host name, an organization's identity name, company name, and location. These certificates need to be issued from a trusted CA, a certificate authority company. I've listed a few here such as Digicert, Digicert, GlobalSign, and VeriSign. Let me go ahead and show you a quick example of a website that uses SSL. And here you can see in the Bank of America site the padlock. Go ahead and click on it and select connection. Click certificate information. And you can go ahead and view in the general tab the general information of the certificate issued to www.bankofamerica.com issued by VeriSign and the validation dates. In the details tab you can go ahead and look at the content of the certificate. In this case they're using a 2048-bit RSA pub public key. And in this last tab you can go ahead and view the certification path. You got the trusted root over here, the certificate as well as the other. Pretty much that. Now let's go ahead and uh, review some of the threats of not using SSL certificates and you'll clearly expose yourself to untrusted connections from web browser to server. Uh, typically sometimes you might have um, a connection where you it might be you, you'll get a warning from the from the browser then you know that it's an untrusted connection and uh, most cases will continue and if you have to use your login or your username uh, you have to be careful because somebody's doing a, a, a malicious attack on, on that site, they can poss possibly steal your credentials. So too many people are trusted, you know, uh, they think that because it's on the web, it's safe. Uh, so you'll clearly be prone to more attacks, uh, data leakage, eavesdropping, surveillance. You'll, you can end up to compliance failures for your company and leading to the public having a perception of your security posture being pretty weak. It is also said that anything below 1024-bit private keys are considered to be weak. As you saw in the case with Bank of America, 2048-bit keys are considered to be very strong. Um, one way to have secure communications is to migrate to a 100% encrypted web. In 2011, we were only at 0.4%, so we're kind of far in that regards. Now, another thing is even brochure websites need SSLs. So oftentimes, uh, ISPs are hijacking traffic to inject ads or reroute search queries. Um, DNS hijacks are also not unusual. Uh, a lot of times you have you know attackers impersonating websites, uh, so you have to be careful with that. Another important thing is around 25% of sites have login forms. 68% of those are over HTTP, and 54% of those submit over HTTP also. So 
and use about one third of the forms protected using SSL. Now let's go ahead and start with a demo. The first thing we'll cover will be to generate a CSR, a certificate signing request. In this case, what we're going to do is hit Start, Control Panel, and let's launch the IIS Manager by going to Ministry Tools, select Internet Information Services Manager. Go ahead and locate server certificates in the middle. Double click. On the right hand side where it says Actions, select Create Certificate Request. We'll go ahead and give it a common name, an organization name, organizational unit, city, state, country, and region. Select Next. We're going to go ahead and leave cryptographic service provider to Microsoft RSA S channel cryptographic provider we're going to select 2048 for the bit length click next and now we'll specify a file name for the certificate request I'm going to go ahead and select my desktop desktop I have a folder here certificates I'm going to go ahead and name it. Click open and finish. Now you can go ahead and open up the location where you see your certificate signing request. In this case, I have it in my desktop. I'll go ahead and double click. And I'm going to go ahead and select everything. You can open this either on Notepad or a text editor. Now, once you select everything and copy it, you're going to go ahead and sign into your um, CA account, your cer cert certificate authority account. I'm going to go ahead and just display global sign for you guys here. Now, you can either do this via D Digizert or Verisign, whichever account you have. And basically, what you're going to do is the certificate signing request we have just generated. You're going to go ahead and copy that. And once you're um, signed into your account, you go ahead and follow all the steps necessary to apply for your certificate so that you can order it. And you'll include the CSR that we've just generated in the order. Uh, now, once you have ordered and applied for it and paid for the certificate, you go ahead and, and, and you'll be receiving it via email. Now let's go ahead and continue. The next thing we'll be doing in this demo will be installing the intermediate certificate. So once you have received the intermediate certificate via email, in this case I already have the two certificates here um, in my desktop. I've already saved it to a specific folder. So we'll go ahead and now install the intermediate certificate first. To do this, we're going to go ahead and hit Start, Run, and we're going to type MMC. I'm going to open. We're going to go ahead and select File, Add, Remove, Snapping. I'm going to select Certificates, then click Add. We'll go ahead and select computer account. Next. Select local computer. Finish. Click OK. Expand the certificates. Go ahead and select intermediate certification authorities. I'm going to go ahead and right click all tasks and import. 
Now the certificate import wizard will launch. We'll go ahead and select next. Now we will browse for our intermediate certificate. This case is in my desktop certificates folder. Click open. Select next. We're going to go ahead and place all certificates in the following store intermediate certification authorities. Click next and finish. The import was successful. Now the next step in our demo will be to import the service certificate. To do this, we're going to go ahead again and hit start, control panel, administrative tools, and we're going to launch the IIS manager. We're going to go ahead and locate server certificates in the middle, double click, and then on the right hand side under actions, we're going to go ahead and select complete certificate request. We're going to go ahead and browse for the certificate, our, our server certificate. In this case, is in my desktop. Certificates. Now, you'll have to select the wildcard. Select the uh, certificate, your server certificate. Click open. We'll give it a friendly name. Now that we have successfully installed the server certificate on the server, we're going to go ahead and assign the certificate to a website using IIS. In this case, you go ahead your, to your connections, select your websites. In this case, I don't have a website. I'm just going to go ahead and use the default website um, for demonstration purposes. In this case, we're going to go ahead and select bindings. Type the host name. Select the IP address. Type HTTPS. And select the SSL certificate. Now in this case, I don't have the demo that we created because those are dummy certificates, but in here is where you will select your SSL certificate to bind. Click OK. Close. And now you will restart your IIS server over here where it says Manage Website in order to complete this process. So the next step in this demo will be to create a backup of your certificate. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and hit start, run, MC. We're going to go ahead and select file, add, remove, snapping. Select certificates, add, computer account, next, local computer, and finish. Click OK. Go ahead and expand certificates. Expand the personal folder. Click on certificates. In the center, select the certificate we want to back up. Right click, all tasks, export. The certificate export wizard will launch. Go ahead and click next. Select cryptographic message syntax standard. 
check include all certificates in the certification path if possible. Click next and browse for a, for a location to save uh, the backup. In this case, I'm going to do it in the desktop, my certificates folder. I'm going to name it backup set. Save. Next and finish. The export was successful. Now you can go ahead and double click the folder where you've saved it. This case is in my desktop and you can go ahead and view the backup um, of, this, of the certificate. In this case, you know, if, if you're doing the backup for an emergency or just to have or if you want to back up and, and import it into another server, you can have it there. Now I've already gone, gone ahead and, and, and done that and I've saved it here in my certificates folder as you can see certificate sign request 2. I'll go ahead and select all this information again and then I'm going to follow the same steps I did as we uh, saw in the, in the first part of this demo. I'm going to go ahead and just show you the global sign account and here you will go ahead and, and sign into your account or whichever uh, CA uh, authority you use. Um, and then once you're in your account, you go ahead and go into the renewals. They have a renewal section where you can go ahead and, and uh, look for your latest certificate and reissue a certificate. Now, once you're, you're following the, those steps to reissue the certificate, you go ahead and include this new uh, CSR that we have just generated. Uh, and you go ahead and reissue the certificate. Um, it will be sent to you via email, just as the other certificates were. That will conclude this demo. Thank you for watching.